everyone in this video i will show you how to do a manual calibration of squat or squat plus model with r squat so let's open our studio call our squat library library and squat show squat user interface So to do manual calibration, you just click here. And if you don't know what to do, click here. So this is a short introduction. So why do we need to do manual calibration? So to manual calibration, for example, could be used for teaching purpose or for to understanding the effects of changing parameter on targeted output variables. So how to do a manual calibration with our squad? So you need to do step one, step two, three, and 4.1. First, let's do step one. For example, now we work with our, with squad, select squad, working folder. For example here, my working folder here. Copy, paste, and take in, take out, squat, and squat executable file. Squat parameter file. Okay. So step one, you do from one to five. And step two, here you just do one. Select the parameter for sensitive calibration or sensitivity analysis. Uh, okay, let's see if I change this to 40. And you go here. You will see the parameter here. Now change, only allowed to change from 40 to 450, let's say, to 400. Yeah, here. So, 1,000. Yeah, 1,000. Let's say I want to remove the solar. Delete. C cellular dot H I U here for example delete yet then no no solar dot H I U. If you want to add another parameter here, you should add it here. For example I at this parameter. Say we play some one to ten in own ten, sorry. On land use space in science slope and let's check here yeah, it appears here. So the order of this uh, is not the same order as this. But the number of parameter are the same, for example, here we have seven parameter, should be seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and you don't need to do step number two and three, don't need to do. And run squad, you should define which output should uh, squad extract for example, here I want to extract from column four from the what out of that file, which he observes during flow at the catchment outlet. And also step two, three point two, select the range. Okay. Let's check it. Uh, select the default. Okay, you don't need to select this. It it doesn't affect anything uh, of this. Evaluate output objective function, of course, you need to select, select observe value. 
So there's one here. And just forward one. Now you can do manual calibration. Okay, let's say that I want to run with route to delay of 400, around 424. Run squad. It's running. Done. Here. Yeah. It's the simulated. Uh, during calibration. Here. Yeah. And simulated during validation period. Because in the taking out. So here I said that. The calibration period is up to around 2002. One, yes, right. Yeah. Up to um, October 2001. Yeah. And this is validation. The rest is validation. Okay, and here's some of the model performance statistic. So now let's say that I here NSE calibration is zero point zero six. Let's say that I want to reduce ground to delay. Run. Remember zero one zero six. Okay, now it's increasing. Okay, maybe I need to reduce route to delay more. Let's say one. One, okay, run again. No, it seems that and I reduce the ground to delay, we have a steeper recession curve in here and better result. So on, for example, you can increase anything in here. Voice flow, for example, run. Yeah, it's increasing, it's better. Yeah. Looks better. And if you want to get the uh, see the result, uh, you can also see in here. Working folder, this is the output. Yeah, yeah. This is the value of the first day of 2000. Second value corresponding should be compared with this value. Yeah, thanks for watching.